from Tijuana, Mexico. <laughs> Here I am with Charlene. Hello, my dear. Hello. Hey, what, what, what part of the world did you come from? New York. New York? Oh, my God. Okay, my wife is from New York, too. And I'm happy to see you both have a similar attitude. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what'd you come out for? I was diagnosed with Parkinson five years ago, and it was getting progressively worse. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of neurologists in New York, and they weren't able to help me. I had to stop working right. and go on disability. And my daughter did some research, and she found you online. And since my mobility decreased so much and I can't sleep and I couldn't turn in my own bed, we decided we were gonna come here. And that's when I came in October. So now, you've been here for a while. We've got a few adjustments. Did, did you like the whole process of checking oh, you out? Oh, definitely. I know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't, don't miss a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. I could sleep much better now. I could turn, I could get myself dressed. I could travel alone now. I couldn't travel alone before. Oh, thank God. Yeah. And I know, I know, it's going to sound strange, but when people can start moving their hands and better, um, that... That we were, you were sharing that this morning. It, yes, definitely. When I came here, my fist was closed like this, and I couldn't use it. I couldn't use it at all for four years. And now I could move my fingers, and I could open it up a little bit. That is I, so cool. It, it's awesome. It, I woke up one night, and I went like, oh, my God, my finger. I called my son in the middle of the night and tell him that my finger is moving. And he was like, what? Yeah, He's it, a miracle worker. <laughs> no, it's, but it's not me. Okay, the body is designed to heal. You clear that connection between the brain and the body, the brain can start to regenerate. Of course, we talked about driving in California. Oh. This finger's okay for pointing. This is what you need to change lanes, okay? No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now, did you have any trouble coming from, I know New York is like crazy dangerous now. Well, no, I didn't have any trouble coming. I came into the San Diego airport and the taxi cab that you provide picked me up and yes. dragged me over the border. It was like a breeze. So you didn't see any beheadings or gang members or cartel? <laughs> I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from New York, okay? You know, New York people aren't scared of anything. Except, you know, I maybe... Take this, I, used, I take the subway in New York for 30 years, so... Oh, nothing scares you. Nothing scares me. Okay, yeah, that's why I like your attitude. But I'm comfortable every year. I, I started walking this trip in the back and go to the restaurants on the side. Oh, fantastic. Yes, and I wasn't able to do that before. Oh, thank God. What, one of the therapies is to challenge the brain. Right. And walking on an uneven surface, and, and the regular sidewalks are uneven, so... It, isn't that cool? It's cool. I used to walk with a cane at home. I don't use it anymore. <laughs> I still I, I, have I, I, it, but I don't use it. it now, what? Because most people, when they're labeled, and it's literally as a label, it's called a diagnosis. It's like printed on your forehead. Most people, they they just follow the doctor's recommendation. It's like drug me, cut me. I'm not going to think about it. What made what what gave you the confidence to look into taking care of yourself? Well, the medication did not work for me. Every time I I take them, I bring it up, and I get sick and nauseous by it. I was just getting progressively worse. Mm. I gave up my job, which I love, for 31 years because I couldn't function. Uh, it, one of the things, and this is a similar thing with most medications. They actually cause the symptom they're designed to treat, and in neurologic conditions, they typically build up a toxic effect where they actually cause the symptoms that they're supposed to fix. Right. It wasn't fixed, and it was just getting worse. And they were just telling me, it will get worse. There's nothing I could do for you. And every time I go to the doctor, they'll ask, can you swallow? Can you do this? And I'm like, that's the stage they want me to be at? <laughs> And I'm like, I gotta get some help. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God for your family. Thank God for you to have the courage to come down. To, because to pursue your, your own pathway, okay, you're not abdicating authority to a, a health official in a white jacket who's pharmaceutically trained. You're trusting that your body's designed to heal. And that's what it is. Right. Your body is smart. 
we clear that connection, then it works right. Yeah, my grandson used to ask me, Grandma, why it took you so long to come down the steps? Now when I'm coming down the steps, everybody knew it was me because I take so long. And I was running down the steps when I went home. <laughs> oh, God. I was running down the steps, and he was like, that's you, Grandma? <laughs> I didn't think it was you. You could come down the step faster now. I, it, now, what, there's so many people, okay, that, that are hopeless because they've had that label, that diagnosis on them. Um, what, what could you tell them to give them courage to pursue their, that, that their, their body is built by God, it's self-healing, self-regulating. You clear that connection, it heals. I'm a living testimony that it works. Once your body starts healing and the communication channel is open up, I'm a living testimony that it works and they should try it. God bless you. Okay. okay, not all New York girls are like this. They're not sweet and amazing and forceful <laughs> and strong and confident. It's just everyone I've ever met is. <laughs> I, I, God bless you, dear. My brother lives in Georgia, and when I was speaking to him the other day, he said, Sis, you sound so much better. Your language, you're opening up more, and you could talk, and you don't hesitate anymore. Because I would have to think about what I'm saying, and sometimes I lose my train of thought because I'm so sick. But now he said, you sound so much better. He's going to come here in the next month. Okay, now, now the, 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 this, this is totally cool. The, the exercises we give you, okay, they're, they're pretty simple. Okay, yes. You're just swinging. Yes. The, the biggest thrill that I get is to see, it, it's not just diagnostic, it's also um, a therapeutic. So you see, you know, not good movement, then you start to see good movement. Is, is, is that a big thrill? I, it oh, is for me. Definitely. And the thing that I put on the back to exercise my neck, it's so mm -hmm. rewarding when I do it. I could feel the difference. Because you're moving everything. Yes. Um, it, it, it's so there, there's no incurable diseases. There are um, a deficiency and toxicity is the source. The problem is people are addressing the symptoms, not the physical, chemical, or emotional stressors. And chiropractors don't heal anything. What we do is remove the interference so the body can heal itself. And that's the only way systems heal. When a surgeon's never going to heal up a wound, he can cut open, then the body's yeah, going to heal. Yeah, they wanted to do surgery on my finger when it just started, because it started oh. in my pinky finger. And they wanted to do surgery, but then they gave me a paper to sign that there's no guarantee that the surgery's going to fix it. I'm like, I'm not signing that. You're not touching me. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, you're going to stab me with a knife. I want some friggin' guarantees. <laughs> exactly. So when I saw that, I'm like, I'm not doing this. Um, I, God bless you. Thank okay. you. God bless you. I, 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 I'm a good bone guy this evening. You're amazing. You're amazing. Oh my God. You are amazing. That, that, no, please take care of yourself, okay? Um, don't give up hope. Your body is designed to heal itself. Thank you.